the vast majority of your photos are going to be taken with one, either a smartphone or a tablet device. However, there are certain times where you simply must use the right camera um, or perhaps you already have photos in your system and you want to get those into Z Inspector. Uh, a frequent one where that may happen is if you have some marketing photos and you used a, a, a higher end camera for better lighting or a wide angle. So let's say we've got that and we want to upload those in the Z Inspector. So to do that, you have to click on the property name and it's best you do this from your computer. You can technically, you know, probably do this from your mobile browser, but most people are going to be doing this from your computer. So now when you are in the property view, you can scroll through and see all of your photos over time. You can also upload a photo right here as well. And so this is for the manual upload. And when you do this, you will have to select the photo from your computer and you, you use your kind of standard browsing techniques to find that. Find the photo. You can actually change the date here. So if this was done on a certain date, the created date um, is a little bit different, but we do provide this option because um, there isn't a hard stamp with this. Uh, it's not like it's uploaded from a phone. So you can change the date and, and, and set that here. Now, and then you can also set the activity. And let's say this is for marketing. And then you can go and pick your areas as normal. So front yard and let's say, um, and I said, yeah, and so we can do building exterior or other different things, um, but we can actually just leave this off as well. And so I can put none if I want to do that. And action, I don't need to do anything with that. And this is marketing photo front of house. Okay, so now when I hit save, that will now be in my portfolio for the property. So I've got now that, that photo. Now I've obviously already have that photo in here, but you can see here I created that. And it shows you here um, who it was uploaded by in this case, when it was uploaded. And if I click on this, I can actually run all the same type of reporting options as I normally would. If you have any questions, please email support at zinspector.com and we'll do our best to help you out. Thank you.